Hi everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have the Honey Dukes um, Harry Potter collection. I have that and I have a small six um, bar um, bundle that I got. So I think I'm going to do those real quick first. I grabbed these because there were a few left from the new scents that I did not get. So I wanted to grab them and then just some that, um, there's two others that I just wanted to have an extra of. Um, so I'm going to go over those real quick. I grabbed um, two of those Honey Dukes, like one for me actually, and two then for um, some of my friends at work wanted some. So I have two um, other sets to take to work tomorrow. So um, while I was getting them, like I said, I just thought I'd grab some of these. So um, I grabbed uh, Berry Sweet. This is a new uh, scent for this spring. So this is my first time smelling it other than the rub and sniff stickers that we get. Um, this is fresh blueberries and strawberries coated in sweet candy glaze. People say this performs really well, so, and that it's a really good scent. Right now, to me, it smells good. This is to, better to me than red, white, and berry pie. Like, I, that wasn't, like, my favorite. Um, but to me, right now, it's kind of leaning a little bit plasticky, chapsticky. But it's not bad. I think it'll be pleasant. So, that was very sweet. That's really pretty. You can see the strawberries on there. They're kind of subtle. I didn't even notice them at first, but that's neat. Okay, next is Moon Orchid, and I really like this on the Rub and Sniff stickers, and I thought I have to get this. Um, this is Bergamot, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Vanilla Orchid, and generally I love scents with Vanilla Orchid. Oh my word, I can smell it as soon as I opened it. Oh, boy, does that smell good. Now on the bottom, it's a lot more floral, but it's a, it's a good floral, almost really, to me, it has a really deep, uh, sultry type of scent. And the more I smell it, I'm getting more of the, the floral, really that night blooming jasmine is really coming out. And I love jasmine, but some things can give you a little bit of a headache, but this is a sweet floral. And like I said, it's sultry. Like I could see this being like body care or perfume. That's really pretty. It almost smells like it has a fruit. Maybe that's the bergamot coming out because I think ber bergamot is citrus. But it's not, it doesn't seem citrusy to me. It's almost like a dark fruit. That's weird. But it might be also that vanilla is really making it a cre like a creamy scent too. Oh, I can't stop smelling that. I love that. Mm, that's good. Okay, next is... That's Moon Orchid. Next is Strawberry Bliss. So this is actually from the Easter collection. I have um, Lemon Lime Fizz, which I'm actually warming now. Um, that's in the Easter collection, and I'm really enjoying that so far. So Strawberry Bliss is Strawberry Puree, Jasmine, and Fizzy Champagne. Hmm. Now, I think I like this a little better than the Berry Sweet. I definitely get more of the strawberry like the with the puree. If I can get it out. I think it broke in half. It did. It's a real pretty red wax. Of course, the whole thing broke in half. But that's all right. I'll be oh boy, is that good. I can smell like the fizziness. This is really good. Oh, I really like that. It's a, it is a fizzy, um, strawberry, almost like a strawberry daiquiri type scent. Like if you just had a stra strawberry daiquiri made like, you know, like at Applebee's or something like that. So it's almost like a mixed drink. I don't know that I really smell jasmine, but maybe that'll come out more on warm with that's really good. I like this better, this strawberry bliss to me. Seems like it's more complex, in my opinion, than berry sweet. Just seems like a generic berry type of scent, where this uh, strawberry bliss seems a little bit, like I said, it has more notes to it or more depth. 
Okay, so next I grabbed another uh, a strawberry lemon cake. I loved this last year. Um, this was a scent of the month last year, and I really liked it. Some people said it didn't perform for them, and maybe it is a little bit on the lighter side, but I really like it. Mm, this is so good. And I remember my grandson was here, and he would have been like th three at the time. Actually, maybe two and a half. And uh, he was it, getting into my bars. I had some laying out, and he picked up this one, and he would not put it down, and he would just keep opening and closing it and smelling it. Yeah, I just love this. It smells so good. So this is fresh strawberries, lemon zest, and vanilla buttercream. And to me, I get all of those things. I definitely, though, get um, fresh strawberries, lemon zest, the buttercream. To me, I really get a cake scent in this for me. It's just like a fruity cake. It's so good. Like you would make a... Um, Almost like a jello cake in a way. Like you would make the poke cake. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Okay. Next is Starburst Sky. I grabbed another one of those because I love this. And I want to just make sure I have an extra one. I'm so glad this came back. This was part of the Valentine's collection last year. Um, it's sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom. Oh, this is so good. It's a little bit of floral, like with the blossom, amber blossom. But... It's just, I don't really smell coconut per se, but there is just something about this. It's definitely like, it, that we have it in body care now, and it's definitely a body care scent. This is so good warming, and it lasts forever. So it's like a sweet, perfumey scent, but not a perfume that gives you a headache. And again, I've said this before, a lot of people say you get like, they get like a cigarette smoke scent out of it, but it's not a bad cigarette smoke scent, if that makes any sense. It's like somebody was smoking in the bathroom, and then loaded themselves up with some really good smelling perfume to try to cover up the cigarette smoke smell. So in a way, I guess some people might think that's bad, but it's so good. And I don't get that on cold, but when it's warming, you kind of get that a little bit. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. And it mixes well with like around the campfire. Um, it's just so good. And that's Starburst Sky. And I love the color of it. That light pink is beautiful. Now, this last one is from the um, Heirloom. It's from the Bloom, the Disney Bloom collection or whatever. And this one was out last year. And this is Mint Fields. And a lot of people rave about this. And I love mint, so I wanted to grab it. And I like um, mint like is in like winter type scents. But I also like fresh herbal mint, which I think this is going to be more of. And I grow mint in my garden, so I think this will remind me of that. This is spearmint leaves, peppermint leaves, and crisp greens. And it said like light, airy, crisp greens or something. So really pretty green. Oh, yeah. I definitely get the mint, but then there's that herbal, like the, like you're out in your garden and there's, you're clipping the mint leaves. Or if you rub them between your fingers, oh, you can just smell it. It's it's not really a gum type of smell like you would think. Because that herbalness is there. Oh, wow. I can't wait to warm this. It's earthy, herbal, and sweet. Oh, that is really good. Mint fields. I'll definitely, if this warms good, this is going to be a really, really good summer, spring, summer scent. Really good. I can't wait to warm that. So that's Mint Fields, and you can pick that up by itself. Um, there's also a collection out right now. I think there were five bars, but there's three new bars to that collection, so they put them together. You can buy them as a bundle for 17 So I was thinking about that because a lot of people said the Glorious Grapefruit's really good and the Hibiscus Pineapple. Yeah, is it Hibiscus Pineapple or Hibiscus? There's a Hibiscus one, um, not Pineapple either hibiscus flower or something I don't know sunset hibiscus sunset so they a lot of people are saying that they're good so I might I don't want the rose one though so that's my thing I don't want the rose um but there's a gardenia one and as long as it's not super super floral that one would be good and I've heard that it's not it's a different type of gardenia so anyway that's my six bar bundle I picked up I'm sorry I rambled about that for nine minutes when everybody wanted to probably see the honey dukes collection now I've also seen that this is hard to open, but I think you're supposed to twist it. There we go. Just twist it like a candy wrapper. 
Then, let's see. Okay. Oh, I got it. That wasn't hard. So just twist the end. But I think it, for somebody who didn't know that, it's going to be super confusing. So you kind of then have to, if you see inside this box, this was kind of up like that. And if you pull that down, the bars were laying in there. So super cute packaging. And then does this twist back? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try to twist it back. Okay, so I know nothing about Harry Potter, just so you know. So all of this stuff is just, it's new to me. I, I just, I've never read Harry Potter. I've never watched Harry Potter. But anyway, I thought that these sounded like they'd be good. So first we have cauldron cakes. And cauldron cakes, look how pretty the packaging is there. Cauldron cakes is cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spiced vanilla cake. Oh, wow. This is like a fall scent. <laughs> I smell fall spices. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting stuff out. Yes, this is definitely a... I do smell spiced vanilla cake. I get a little bit of that cake in the vanilla. I don't really know about cinnamon sugar, maybe a little. I get more of the spices. If this, this smells like medium though, it's not very strong. If this warms nice, this is gonna be, um, this is gonna be a good one. So that one is cauldron cakes. Okay, next is exploding bonbons. Again, that's really pretty. Or pretty cool packaging, I don't know. So this is juicy orange, white chocolate, sweet vanilla, and candied pineapple. And it is a light orange wax. So this is a darker orange. Mm. Well, that one falls right out. So I definitely get orange. This is very much what I'm smelling is the pineapple maybe. I'm about tasted it. The pineapple on top orange on the bottom. So I'm thinking maybe the other scent notes, the white chocolate and vanilla are kind of in the middle because I'm just mainly smelling the orange and the pineapple, but there is a, there's a sweetness to it. And so maybe a little bit of a creaminess from the vanilla. Mm. But that smells really good. It, it, it's definitely a candy, like you were sucking on an orange or pineapple candy. So that one is exploding bonbons. It'll be nice if the chocolate, some of that actually does come out, but it's white chocolate. So it's going to be a little bit different than milk chocolate. Okay, next is fizzing whiz. Oh, I thought it was whiz bees It's whiz -bees. Again, really pretty. Look at those bees on there. And this is chocolate dipped strawberries, apple, melon, and sugared coconut. A lot of people are saying this is a, has a weird scent, so we'll see. And it is a really pretty pink wax. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. On the, right here on the top, I definitely get the chocolate dipped strawberries. At first I was like, well, that's a different scent, but Mmm, that is chocolate chips, ch chocolate dipped strawberries. And in fact, I then get the sugared coconut that maybe if you made this chocolate covered strawberry and then put the sugared coconut over top of it. So let's see what the bottom smells like. Sometimes the more you smell it, you start to really pick up the notes. Oh, definitely the chocolate on the bottom. This is nice. I don't know. I like this. A lot of people say it's weird, but this is good. Mmm. No, I get chocolate dipped strawberries. This is nice. I, I really like this. I don't really smell melon per se, maybe a little bit of apple, but that is fizzing Whizbees. I like this. I hope it warms nice. Mmm. Well, there was a little melon. See what I mean? The more you smell them, Mm. Oh, I like that a lot. Everybody's nose is different, you know? Okay, so next is sherbet lemon. 
This is sparkling sugar, orange, lime, and candied lemon. So it looks like a lemon sherbet there. And it's a really pretty yellow wax. Mm. Boy, I like all of these. I don't know. So it's definitely like a candied lemon, but a little, like almost like a, a sour lemon though. But it's supposed to have sparkling sugar, well, orange and lime. So that's going to be, orange and lime and lemon is going to be kind of sour. So it's like a, a really tart lemon, but with a hint of sugar. Almost like the candy had a little bit of a dusting of sugar. And then once you suck on that part, you get the sweet at first from that. But then all of a sudden, the sour hits you. That's what this smells like. This is good, too. They're all really good, I think. I mean, to me. And they're just really nice. I love these packaging that's on this. So this is Sherbet Lemon. So I would say, I don't know. I think first, I'm loving this fizzing Wisby's. Then I'd have to say cauldron cakes. Then um, the exploding bonbons might be next, I guess. That would probably be third. And then the only reason this would be is because I have some lemon scents. And it, so, you know, but it's nice. They're all nice. This has, a, this exploding bonbons has a something in it I can't place. That's very familiar. Mm. I don't know. I think they're going to be good. So I'm excited to try them. So this is the cauldron cakes. And I think I might have already showed you that. But so that's what I got mm, in my haul. So let me know if you picked up the Harry Potter bars and if you're enjoying them. Um, or, if, you know, if you've gotten a chance to warm them, I would love to hear. So thank you very much for watching and um, give me a like and comment for me. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.